I think this might be the super the last Super Bowl overseen by Jay Z. Oh, that's crazy you mentioned that because let's uh pull up the screen. Where is it? Jaguar, right? Oh shit. Well, I don't is it on Hollywood Unlocked, maybe? Whatever. I seen a clip earlier today of uh Jason Lee basically inferring that Jay Z had sex with Foxy Brown when she was fifteen and that it's all gonna come out. I call Yes, sir. This is my life story seven oh two. I wanna say thank you for all the love and support. Make sure y'all hit that like button and subscribe button. Please stay tuned in for more up and coming videos. I wanna say hit that cash app if you can at Jeremiah Leo twenty nine. And let's keep it going, man. I appreciate all everybody that's been supporting the channel. And we out. Yes, sir. Oh, Jason Lee yesterday, did I not? And he doubled down privately because he wasn't saying Jay-Z's name. So, okay, I was talking to my personal trainer about this this morning. I feel like the people love Jay-Z so much and have so much respect for him that even if that allegation comes out and is basically proven, I just don't see people latching onto it and approving it and turning Jay-Z into a joke the way that they've done with Diddy. Bro, but <clears throat> you we've never seen know. some big names, right? Crumble. That are great, and usually when they do some type of little intervention or some type of little something, it goes the other way. Some big names hmm. on both sides of it. Oh yeah, this is the thing though. It's not like they're just going to hit him with one allegation if they do hit him with anything. It's going to be you did this. And also, even if there's like proof or a lawsuit about one thing, it's going to be here's all this other shit that is not really well documented or not easily provable, but there's accusations. So we're going to take this one serious accusation that there's a lawsuit or some sort of evidence around or that appears to be true. And then we're going to lump it in with a bunch of alleged shit. And they're going to use that first story to lend credibility to all the other things. Sounds like Bill Cosby. Sounds like a lot of these situations because you do have like the Cassie being thrown on the ground in the in the hotel. Then you have like hundreds of other accusations now that probably Yo, have like almost no evidence. The no, <clears throat> I take that law firm serious. Right. They said there's a whole lot of people in the industry who names are going to come out. Yeah. They even start saying banks and and pharmaceutical industry people. Which we don't care about that. No, but that could be pretty intense for like the rest of the world. I think it's going. I think it's, it's about to be a whole total restructure, reset, just in the industry alone. All these men get replaced with women. That's what they're going to do. That's how we. They're about to push get back to equal. They going to push everybody that was in there out of there. Well, you see, Kevin Lyles just retired like as soon as the Diddy raid happened. I feel no. like that's been under discussed. No, no. You're not going to do Kevin like that. Is that an exaggeration? Or? It's definitely Kevin Lyles. There's a total different, there's a restructure going on at Universal. Right. It just seemed like Elliot the timing Gra was a little Elliot, weird, right? Elliot Grange is kind of taking over the building he was in. Okay. I believe, I'm not knowing, for, you know, that they probably wanted Kevin to get rid of a bunch of people that he came up with. Mm. And I think before Kevin did that, okay, he he consulted his business partner Lior, and I think he just said, "You know what? Mm. I'll just step down and I'll wait for my next opportunity." Mm. But do I think Kevin's involved in the him stepping down has anything to do with Diddy? I think that was just timing. Okay, probably fair, but it was like the same day, which is hard for a lot of people to ignore. crazy, right? Yeah, I don't know. Either way, it's just like I just wonder how much they would have to throw at Jay-Z to really take him down. Because from my perspective, it was relatively easy to take Puff down because as much as we all respect him he as a businessman, nobody really like respects the music catalog that much. We're not like huge uh, no. Diddy fans. Yes, he's produced a bunch of the best artists over time and stuff, but you can kind of divorce that from it. But with Jay-Z, it's like there is a level of respect that me, you, everybody in hip-hop who knows what's going on has for Jay-Z that is so much more extreme than the Diddy thing. But I also, I don't know if Diddy, if Jay, even a brand as strong as Jay's could survive 
months and months and months of having these narratives stretched out and just presented to the public over and over and over on a daily basis. It's going to be, I mean, who survives that image wise? I mean, you know, this is us assuming Puff has anything to throw Jay-Z under the bus. Yeah, but I mean, stuff could come out even without that happening. We haven't heard anybody point the finger at Jay-Z. I agree, and that's great. But when you see somebody like Jason Lee, who does have a pretty good reputation for not dealing with fake shit, obviously he's been caught up in a few little scandals about fake shit over the years, but I don't really think that Jason Lee would be publicly flirting with this idea unless he felt pretty confident that there was something coming. I also feel like during that time period, if you found out that a guy who was, I don't know how old Jay-Z was, like how much older? Eight years. Oh, okay. So they're saying he was 23 and Foxy Brown was 15. Yeah. I feel Foxy's like. 46. He's 54 right now. I feel like at that period in time, that would not have been that out of the ordinary in terms of things that were happening. Do you remember when Jerry Seinfeld had a 17-year-old girlfriend at the height of... 15 and 23? Listen, come on. I'm not saying it's okay. I'm just saying publicly, this is the same time period where Jerry Seinfeld had a 17-year-old girlfriend while he had the biggest show on TV. It's not that hard to believe. What state was he in? New York City. Well, 17 is legal. Well, I don't know. But either way. State-wise, federal-wise. And definitely 17 and 15 are worlds apart in terms of, like, development. 23 and 15. Yeah, that's crazy. But I'm just saying, I don't know. I feel like a lot of people would start apologizing for him and saying, like, oh, it was a different time. They'd be giving him all kinds of bail that they wouldn't give anybody else normally. Yeah, I would hope that didn't come out. Now, he does have the... He has a very prominent wife, but a strong following. We started dating when she was 18, right? She was legal. But they always try to bring that out, too. Like, oh, he met her when she started dating when she was 18, but he might have met her when she was six. I, I and seen a groomed bunch of that. her and all this whole other stuff. There's like no proof he even talked to her. I don't know. They got kids. They're together. I don't know. But um, I would hate to say that was the video. I just want to let y'all know I got more coming, more videos cooking. Let me know if y'all got any ideas in the comment section. Once again, please like, comment, and subscribe. Man, I really do appreciate all the love. Just the commenting and just the, you know, coming and watching my videos. That do mean a lot to me and my family. Once again, please hit that cash app. uh, Show love and support. If you want to become a member as well, I appreciate, appreciate that too. So once again, man, this is My Life Story 702, and we out. Yes, sir. See Jay-Z take a fall. I would hate to see that as well. Even though, obviously, Jay-Z probably never going to do anything for me. Never going to assist No Jumper in our mission at all. You never had any kind of interaction with him, right? I talked to Jay-Z twice. Mm. I wouldn't say he's really like uh, reaching out to help out the next generation of media personalities. Nobody's ever done content with Jay-Z. He's in his own lane. But it would be very, very sad to see his reputation take a dive. Jay-Z or Puff, you had to pick and choose who went down. You keep one in the game and one goes down. Who you keeping and who's going down? Goodbye, Puff Daddy. Damn.